Hello, this is Rodney. And this is Angela. And welcome to Songs, Songs for, for the, the Soul. Where our testimony meets our harmony. To encourage and inspire couples and individuals. Who are healing from infidelity. Yes. And today we want to offer an original song. This is a song from us men, husbands, to God on behalf of our wives, praying for them, asking for blessing and healing and God's favor over them. And then praying for ourselves for that God would give us wisdom and grace to love them and lead them and cover them in the ways that... What feel is, warm and fuzzy all over. You will feel warm and fuzzy, okay. I didn't say you will, but I do. Hopefully you will. <laughs> um, uh, so... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, you all, um, but we're trying to set you up for a prayer song and prayer is so important for us as believers, but also for us as husbands covering our wives and loving them as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. And so I love this because it, it really references Ephesians 5 where we get our charge as husbands, and 1 Peter 3, where we also get our charge as husbands to love and dwell and to cover them and um, all of that. So it's really, really a joy. And music plays a part because you can play this song as a husband, as a man, you can play this song, uh, and it can really be your devotion and your prayer time. And just maybe if your mind is kind of scattered and you want to pray something, music can kind of help to steer us in the right direction. So you can play this. We'll provide not just the video, but the audio version of this as well. So you can just play it and listen to it and allow this to be a gift from God um, to you uh, just to help in our prayer life, to pray for our wives. Why is prayer so important? Prayer is important to me and him praying over me in particular. Um, even when we were kind of working through things at the beginning, sometimes we would start flooding or be marathoning and, you know, just not connecting. And he would stop and pray. And, you know, if we can make that connection with God, then that's the only way really we can make that connection with each other. So even though at first it was a little awkward and maybe even a little irritating, um, I really grew to appreciate that pause and that attempt to connect with God. And it really helped to bring things down to where, you know, we could function a little bit better. And it wasn't because I was so deep and wise and all that or whatever. It was really out of desperation. It was like, we, we have hit a wall and nothing I'm saying is helping. Nothing she is saying is helping. And we're the only two in the room. It's like, At Lord, wit's end. will you please rescue us. Will you please yes. come and help us? And so I love this prayer because many times, whether we realize it or not, our wives are hemorrhaging. It mm -hmm. could be because of the infidelity. It could be because of anything. And uh, they just need covering. They need prayer. And so what a privilege and an honor it is for God to give us the call and the charge and the just the blessing of being able to petition him on their behalf. And so this song is really meant to help you, to help me. It has already blessed me. I've been praying for my wife as I've been singing and listening to the song as well. And so that's the treat we have for you today, specifically for the husbands, for the men, praying for our wives. Anything else? Woohoo! Just um, grateful. I think it's going to be a blessing, uh, not just to the husband, to the wives, for you to know that your husband is praying for you. And, you know, you never know. God is a God of miracles and he can do anything. He can do anything. I'm a witness. I cannot believe that my wife and I, this year we make 24 years of marriage. It was eight years ago from our D-Day. I cannot believe that we are here 
and a place of God's grace to be able to look back and encourage someone else. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe we are doing songs for the soul. I cannot believe that we are in a place where we can offer hope and encouragement and love and joy for others. I cannot believe that, but we have such a great and powerful and wonderful God. So yeah, he, he blows our mind. He is the wonderful, the counsel, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He is our deliverer and our keeper. Um, uh, I don't mean to start preaching, but it uh, feels sort of a little bit like a preach a little bit, uh, because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and really all that he's done for me and for us, I, I know it's only by his grace. And so that's why prayer is so important. I don't know that I'm saying all the right words and all that, but hopefully you get the idea that prayer is really, really our connection yes. for God's intervention. And many, many times we just need his intervention. We need his hand. We need his grace. We need his mercy. We need him to come in and swoop in and bring deliverance. And so maybe this song will be, um, it will help in that endeavor to give some music to our prayers. Anything else? We appreciate your comments and yes. all of that. Some of you are very um, diligent about responding, letting yes. us know um, what you thought, how you felt, um, yes. all of those things. We really appreciate that and just encourage you to continue that. We'd yes. love to hear from you. Yes. Um, as my husband has said, we'd love to hear some of the songs yes. um, that kind of speak to you Yes. Um, in your own life, in your own journey. Yes. And just appreciate you letting us be on this journey with you. Yes. What a joy. Well said. Why, thank you. Kind, sir. Well, thank you all so very much. And um, here is a um, song entitled A Husband's Prayer. All right. God bless. Use it for the glory of God. All right. Songs for the soul. Songs for the soul. <laughs> Oh, Lord, bless my wife, heal the pain inside, teach me how to love her as you do your bride, help me to dwell with her, and no one makes her smile, comfort when she cries, honor her. you faultless now to him who is able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy now to him who is able to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power now to him who is able 
both now and forever.